Hello, and welcome to this STM32L476 Discovery Kit Getting Started video. The STM32L4 is a new range of ultra low power 32 bit microcontrollers, adding performance dimension to energy sensitive applications. These MCUs significantly extend battery life in a wide range of applications, such as consumer, industrial, medical, healthcare, or metering. Inside the STM32L476 Discovery Blister, you will find two items. The STM32L476G Disco Board, and an insert card explaining how to set up the board and launch the embedded application. The STM32L476 Discovery Kit is designed to be the quickest way to evaluate the ultra-low power capability of the STM32L4 series and discover its other features such as connectivity and real-time processing performance. Now let's have a look at the main components and features of the STM32L476 Discovery Board. Flip over the board and look at the bottom side. One particular feature of the board is its coin cell socket, which is useful for evaluating the device's performance in real battery-powered applications. Now back to the top side, we can see the STM32L476 device with its STM32L152 current ammeter companion chip. Used to measure the power consumption of the STM32L476 main device in the various power modes. To facilitate the development of applications based on the STM32L476 Discovery Board, an onboard ST-Link V2-1 debug and programming tool is embedded on the Discovery. An LCD display directly driven by the STM32L476 is inserted inside a socket, so that it can be easily removed by the user if necessary. By removing the LCD from its socket, the I.O. can then be used for something else. To complete the user interface, the board includes a joystick used to navigate inside the application's menus, as well as a restart button. This discovery kit is also designed to demonstrate the STM32L4's ability to perform audio recording and playback operations. The audio interface device, the Quad SPI flash memory interface, the microphone, and the jack connector are located here. The board also includes a micro USB connector for evaluating the STM32L4's USB on the go embedded peripheral. To operate the board and access the functions of the pre programmed application, connect jumper CN3 and set jumper JP5 to the on position. Then power on the board by connecting the USB cable to the ST Link USB connector. The current consumed by the application is much less than the 100 milliamp current limit allowed by default by the USB specification. Nevertheless, to provide the user with more power for his own applications, the ST-Link negotiates with the host during the USB enumeration to increase the current output capability up to 300 milliamps. Once this is done, Power LED 2 is on and no longer blinking. The application will now start up. At device startup, the welcome string scrolls and the top-level menu appears. Different functions are available depending on whether the board is powered by a USB supply or a battery, according to the JP6 jumper configuration. In battery power mode, the voice recorder player and the acoustic guitar tuning functions are not available. Now let's evaluate the various power modes by moving the joystick button to the right to enter the menu for the displayed power mode or down to change the power mode. In run and sleep modes, the CPU runs at 24 MHz, the voltage range is 2, the RTC and LSE are off, and the flash memory ART accelerator is on. In low power run and low power sleep modes, the CPU clock is 24 MHz, the voltage range is 2, the RTC and LSE are off, and the flash memory ART accelerator is on. In this mode, the ARM Cortex-M4 core and the flash memory are off. The rest of the MCU, such as the RAM or analog blocks, remains on. In Stop 2, Standby and Shutdown modes, the CPU power supply is switched off, the voltage range is 2, the RTC and LSE are off, and the flash memory ART accelerator is off. 
The STM32L4 device can monitor an absolute voltage, regardless of any variations in its power supply voltage. Therefore, the device can monitor its own VDD, allowing for an advanced battery power monitoring system. Now, the following sequence will demonstrate the device's performance in real-time operations. While the green LED is blinking, the sound picked up by the microphone is directly sampled and stored by the STM32L4 device in the onboard Quad SPI flash memory. Then, by selecting the player menu, the device sends back the sound sequence stored inside the flash memory to the audio DAC, connected to an external earphone through the jack connector. The volume can be adjusted by moving the joystick up or down. Let's now go to the compass menu. At device startup, the board needs to be calibrated. To calibrate the board, you have to rotate it in each of its three axes. Once it's calibrated, press the joystick in the center to display the current direction of the board and use the electronic compass to try to find the north. The discovery board also includes a sound meter function. The sound level of the surrounding environment can be displayed in dB on the LCD. There is also a guitar tuner function that demonstrates the processing performance of the STM32L4 in real-time applications. This shows the guitar string's tuning table and the adjustment symbols. Then an About menu is also available to display the firmware release date. This is useful to verify if your discovery board embeds the most recent release. To reduce the power consumption of the application, the board enters low power state after 10 seconds of no user activity in a USB power configuration and 4 seconds in battery mode. Using this discovery board, we have explored some of the features of the STM32L4 series microcontroller. To learn more about the STM32L476G discovery board, go to st.com and search for 32L476G Discovery. Here you will find the STM32 Cube L4 comprehensive tool, discovery board schematics and Gerber files, data brief, user manual, and other related materials that will help you speed up your development. And if you want flexible hardware and more connectivity, please evaluate our STM32 L476 Nucleo board and join the ARM Embed community. To learn more about the STM32L4 series, visit our website at www.st.com and www.st.com/stm32l4. Thank you for watching this video.